All right, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to do the dreaded geometric vectors in the plane. And so what we're going to do in this problem specifically is we're going to find the coordinates of u and v, these two vectors, u and v, with respect to the basis a, b. First of all, I know a, b is a basis. Why? a, b is a basis if and only if there's two vectors which are non-collinear. So as long as they're not pointing the same direction, these vectors, it turns out, in fact, are perpendicular, so they're not the same direction. So they are a basis. Now what I want to do is, if I'm going to describe and find the coordinates of u and v with respect to a, the basis a, b, I'll do it one at a time. We'll do u first, or we can do v first. It doesn't matter to me. But we'll pick one of them and then what we have to do is we have to actually move them and create a diagram in which we have some kind of vector addition or subtraction we can then write them as linear combinations of one another using the definition of uh, addition of vectors and then when we have that the coordinates or the linear combination the coefficients are the coordinates of these vectors what is that saying? If you don't understand it in words, that's now actually compute. So the first thing I want to do is bring them all. So I want to bring all the initial points or the, the, the tails of all of the vectors to one common point. You can do it in the grid that you're given, or you can draw yourself a new mini grid, or you can just do it, uh, <clears throat> you can do it just on the side. Uh, possibly, maybe I should do that. We can draw a mini small grid like this. What I'm going to do is, that's wrong, B is one unit long, so one square long. Then A is two units long. I bring A and B together so that their initial point is together. And then I also bring U there too. I brought, I drew my grid on the wrong side. <laughs> so we'll extend our grid. Now U is this vector. He's two diagonals of the vertical squares. So I bring U in there and then I draw U as well. In this diagram, I want to somehow add these vectors. This vector is now, if I create this vector, this is negative b. And then if I move it up, any vector that's in the same direction and is the same magnitude is also equal to that vector. So this is also negative b, and this is a. And so what I wanted was this diagram where I now have the addition of some vectors And then I can now use the algebra to express what that means. What does that actually mean? What that says is a plus negative b equals u. And because the basis was given as an ordered pair a, b, what that really says is u is equal to positive 1a plus negative 1b and therefore the coordinates of u with respect to the basis a b is u is given by 1 minus 1 with respect to the basis a b those are the coordinates the coordinates of a geometric vector with respect to a basis come from the coefficients when I describe them as a linear combination using the definition of geometric vectors. So now we're going to do the same thing with V. We're going to describe V and write the coordinates of V with respect to the basis AB. So what am I going to do with that? Again, let's draw a grid. I drew some kind of smaller grid. And so what I want to do first is I want to draw Usually if you're going to describe V as those guys, I'm going to put them nicely in the corner, say. So I'll put B here again, and then I'll put A here. So again, I'm taking them from wherever they were willy-nilly in the plane. The vectors are just all, they're all over the place. This vector's pointing this way, and this one's pointing this way, and I'm going to describe these ones with these ones. So the first thing is, everyone, the students really don't like to move the vectors. The definition is that we have to actually, to add and subtract these types of things, we actually have to move the vectors. So I've moved A and B, and now I'm going to move V into that basis. So it was two diagonals, so I'm going to move it as two diagonals. There's V. 
and now I have to think to myself, I want to draw some nice addition of some vectors in this scenario. Now I get to use green. So, oh, green was a dud, total dud. I got to back up. So, what I want to do is I want to see that the red vector A plus the green vector, whoever that is, equals V. So who is the green vector? It's in the same direction and twice the magnitude of B. So it is in fact to B or not to B. I almost have to say it every time I accidentally say that. But that one's to B. And so now I have geometric addition. That one's kind of squished in there. Who is that? That one's B. So now you can see what does that say? I can now algebraically write that out as geometric addition. That says A plus 2B equals B. And that says that V has coordinates 1, 2 with respect to the basis AB. And that's how you write vectors with respect coordinates with respect to other vectors.